Matt, what do you have up there? For some strange reason, there's a GTX 1080 just sitting up here with all this paint. I happen to have found a Ryzen 2600 and B450 up here. Wow, we have everything we need to build a budget gaming PC today at PC Bros, and we're gonna take you along for the ride after a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProDark and their XM01 combo. The XM01 combo features the tri-fold keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. This combo is amazing for those needing a portable peripheral solution and is packed full of essential functionality. The ProDark tri-fold keyboard is the perfect accessory for on-the-go off. This compact and portable keyboard can be easily folded in thirds, making it easy to slip in a bag or backpack. The best part is, despite its portability, the XM01 Trifold keyboard has all the functionality of a full-sized keyboard. It even utilizes low-profile scissor switches to provide a smooth and responsive typing experience. The Bluetooth mouse comes with a dongle that cleverly stores inside the mouse, ensuring you always have it on hand when needed. With its three DPI settings, you can easily adjust the sensitivity to suit your needs and preferences, making it a versatile and convenient choice for a wide range of tasks. This combo is also amazing to use with handheld gaming devices like the Steam Deck, Aya Neo, ROG Ally, and more. Due to its small size and portability, it's a perfect match for gaming on the go. If you're interested in learning more about the ProDark XM01 combo or in buying it today, click the link in the description down below and use our code to enjoy a discount. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, all jokes aside, we do get a lot of random PC parts like this on trade-in for really good prices that we do put together awesome PCs to sell to you guys at PC Bros with our one-year warranty. And this GTX 1080 that we paid $55 for is a great starter for this build. Let's go find the rest of the parts. So we need some RAM. RAM is definitely important. And I think I see some RAM right <laughs> here. Know where I'm going. He just got <laughs> juked. Uh, so right here, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. We got DDR4 memory, Team Group Vulcan Z, 16 gigs, non-RGB, 3200 megahertz. And uh, yeah, good budget RAM. That'll work well with the B450 mother, which by the way, MSI B450 Pro Max 2 board with a Ryzen 5 2600. Looks pretty good. We will need a stock cooler though. And do you know where we keep our stock coolers? You know what? I think we have some open ones actually. We do have open Bros. ones? Yeah, like the ones we use for testing. Okay. So that'd probably be good. We'll use those. Those are about 10 bucks on eBay. No, we, we do have for. cases and stuff in the back, but we need an SSD, which, oh, wow, look at this. This SSD <laughs> is definitely not standing out from the rest. This right here is the Team Group MP33 512G SSD. It's Gen 3, it's fine, does the job for the build. Yeah, case and power supply, which you wanna show them the power supplies. We have our good old Seago Teps. Are we trying to use a 650, I'm guessing? Yeah, so a Seagotep 650. 80 plus gold, actually pretty nice power supplies. Non-modular, so keep that in mind, but hey. Pretty good rated. Yep, this is one of the benefits of a PC business. We can get some of this stuff in bulk, save some money, and pass the savings on to the customers. And the case, ah, yes, the Dark Rock case. Dark Rock. So uh, this is just a budget case I actually found. Um, the A8M, it's a micro ATX case. Comes with some basic fans pre-installed. Um, and so far, I think we have CPU, motherboard, RAM, storage, power supply, and case. And all in all, this build, just doing some mental math, it's about $350 for this entire build, which with a 1080, a very capable car to compare to something like a 2060, should perform very well. And I'm excited to put it together after we clean things up a little bit and make her look nice. Let's bring it to the studio.
Guys, we got the gaming PC done and it looks freaking awesome, but I bet a lot of you are wondering, what happened in the time lapse? This right here is what happened in the time lapse. We had a lot of issues with this case. The Dark Rock A8, which was listed as Micro ATX, ended up being full ATX, come to the fans on the basement, but that's not really the biggest problem. It's a USB-C case and it's $60. So we would have to use a really weird adapter to get the USB-C to work. And also with it being micro ATX and it didn't look that great to begin with. And this RGB fan that only has, well, actually the RGB fan's not even there anymore. <laughs> we took the RGB fan out because it was an ARGB fan, but we have a budget motherboard that doesn't even have an ARGB header. So we were spending probably like 10 to $15 worth of adapters when we could have just gotten a PV Prodigy, one of the PC Bro staple PC cases. So we swapped to that basically net even to be honest maybe like five or six more dollars to go with this case but i think it turns out really good let's just see how it actually games and uh buyer beware with this case all right guys we are playing the finals we got a limited frame rate 1080p uh static rtx medium settings medium now yep. i have to wait yep no upscaling either so we're just running native 1080p medium settings and uh not too bad. The temperatures are exactly what you thought they'd be on the 1080. 80 degrees Celsius. That's what those blower style cards do. All right, now it's time to put in some work, team. Yeah! Yeah. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Are head you shot. truly accurate? Yep. Oh, oh my god, you really are accurate on Headshot. This. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a hammer. Hey, hammer time. No. Hammer time, Why yeah. is it a one shot? Oh. Oh. Do you do no way! Oh hey. my god. Oh. My mind's went through the platform, looks like. I feel like they, they need to, this needs to be like Hanzo. I need bigger hitbox. What the? <laughs> All right, well, that was the finals that ran pretty well. I mean, 80 FPS pretty consistent, medium settings. Try the next game. Next game. Hi, right, gamers. We are now in Fortnite DX11 performance settings. You guys know the drill. The shadows are on high. Hold up, let me fix that. Now, that's performance settings, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And um, yeah, hopefully we get some uh, good FPS numbers. We'll see how it holds up. But um, yeah, this combo is looking good. I mean, we talk about the 1080. 1080 is a legendary card, and we got it for a legendary price. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, get him. Okay, there you go. I think that dude came at you. Get him, oh. get him. He died. Right. He almost dead. Oh, the water bending. Lag on him. Oh, you knew we were in water too, so it's amplified. Let's break this thing. This will give me the shield I need. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> ah. I'll take that. I don't want these med kits. All right. Oh, he's exiting the vehicle. Oh, he's he's been. Oh. Here. <laughs> Dude, where'd that guy even go? Rumor has it he's still flying. Mm. Ah! And why is he so diesel? <laughs> Meowsles. Well, guys, I think I've defeated everyone I can in Fortnite. Apparently, they're all gone. They're all hidden from me. So, performance again. Fortnite. Really good, 100 plus FPS at this point right now, getting really good results. What we're gonna go ahead and do is run our 3D Mark score, which I expect at $350 to be a pretty good simple point average and um, see what else this thing is capable of. But all in all, putting together PC using some stuff at PC Bros turned out pretty well. Let's get to it. All right, guys. Well, we had a lot of fun building this PC at PC Bros, and we got to actually test the PC. We got to build it twice, basically, because <laughs> uh, the first time, you know, this can happen. The case just didn't quite work out, and I'm really glad that we made this switch to the Micro ATX Prodigy. Of course, the Prodigy, the PC Bros will staple PC case that we absolutely know and love, worked out great for this build, and of course we had to run our 3D Mark times by benchmark to see the simper point on this PC. At $350, we got a score of 7,022, which is a five cent per point score. Obviously, with these graphics card deals we get, we do get some deals that it's really hard for you guys to replicate because we do have a physical location where people come in and trade in stuff that they don't necessarily need anymore and obviously we got to make money and sell this thing in pc bro so we can get some better pricing but i would say for 350 bucks we did a really good job with this pc build if you guys enjoy this style of video where we go back into pc bros and hunt around for pc parts let us know down below and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh let us know what you think of this series and as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you didn't check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye
All right, guys, PC Rose one more time. PCRose.tech is our PC selling business. We got one year parts and labor warranties and some really awesome people that work here. PCRose.tech, we sell the gaming PCs, the gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code Toastbreeze, go and check out. You'll save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.